By now, you've probably heard the news. Overdoses have become the leading cause of accidental death in the United States. Last year, overdoses killed more people than car accidents and guns. It's tragic. It's also really hard to get good information through all the noise. Blah, 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 blah. It's time to stop the drug. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Whew. Sounds complicated, right? Well, actually, no. Overdose is quite simple to understand. When someone overdoses, it means that too many receptors in their brain are filled with opioids. This causes the person to stop breathing. Now, there is one thing we can all agree on. People shouldn't die from things that are preventable. And overdose is preventable. Fortunately, there are a few important things that you can do today to help prevent fatal overdoses. First, whether you are at risk of an opioid overdose or not, get naloxone today. If used quickly, it can reverse the fatal effects of an overdose in just moments. Naloxone works by kicking those opioids off of the receptors. Naloxone takes the place of the opioids in the brain's receptors, allowing them to begin breathing again. Some very important information. Naloxone is only effective on opioid overdoses and only lasts for about 30 to 90 minutes. So it's important to stay with anyone who's been given naloxone and be sure to get them to the hospital. Whether you're taking prescription painkillers or heroin, the things that put you at risk of an overdose are exactly the same. That's right, they're exactly the same. You should know the four big risk factors. Number one, quality. Purity among street drugs varies. Sometimes it's strong, sometimes it's not. Be sure to test a small amount first to understand which kind you have. Number two, mixing. Mixing opioids with other drugs, like alcohol or downers, is a recipe for overdose. It's like adding gasoline to a fire. Number three, you haven't used in a long time. If you're leaving rehab, jail, or the hospital, Remember, your tolerance will be lower. This is why people leaving jail are 129 times more likely to overdose in the days after their release than other people. Number four, using alone. Whether you're taking pills or heroin, be sure people are around in case you do overdose. It's always safer in pairs. See, I told you it's not that complicated. The secret is in knowing how to prevent and treat an overdose. And remember, Get naloxone. Carry it with you always. You never know when it will save someone's life or even your own. If you're in Colorado, you can find naloxone near you at www.stoptheclockcolorado.org. And as always, visit www.harmreductionactioncenter.org for more information.